Tip number one is to always be contracting your abs throughout the day and through exercise. If you're walking around like this, this isn't gonna look very appealing. You wanna keep them tight and suck them in. There's also an exercise you can practice doing called vacuuming. It's very hard to show because you have to suck in this muscle right here, which is just underneath your rectus abdominis, and that's what's actually gonna help strengthen that muscle, and that's the only way you can do it. My second tip is it all lies in the breathing. You wanna make sure you're having big breaths on the way out, and that will naturally contract your abs. So, that's how you actually contract them, so it makes sense to be doing it during the exercise. So I'm using that big breath instead of And that is a key to effectively getting that mind-muscle connection and really working on contracting your abs. Tip number three, we're gonna be focusing on isolating the abs, so watch this. So here we're gonna be doing reverse crunches. Something I see commonly is a lot of people will just raise their legs. In that case, you're gonna be working your hip flexors. You're gonna to wanna to work your abs and isolate them. So you're gonna to wanna to round your back a little bit. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking your hips and your hip flexors and just curling them up, squeezing them right to your chest. You're gonna be getting that nice contraction and you're gonna be working your abs instead of your hips. So this is a hard one for some people, but you can trust me, I would like to think I have pretty good abs. And I only train abs about two times a week. I would recommend three on the high end, but no more than that. Okay guys? Physiologically, your abs are like any other muscle. Although it is your core and it's responsible for many things, doesn't mean you should be hacking away at them every day. I recommend just training them and training them well to failure. You don't want to overdo it because you will be using them every day, which will still be impacting them, especially in your heavy deads, squats, and bench, but still to actually put emphasis and train them hard only about two times a week. So for those of you who have ever felt neck strain from doing something like a crunch or anything like that, one of my biggest tips for you guys is take your tongue and put it on the top of your mouth. And what's that, what that's gonna do is it's gonna align your head and prevent neck strain. So that's a huge one for you guys to keep in mind. Sixth and final tip is to actually make sure your nutrition is on point. You guys wanna make sure you got this down. And if you guys want more tips, it's too detailed to go into. Please subscribe to us if you haven't already, or check out our other videos. There's some great ones, you can check out these cards. They're either here or here, you'll figure it out. Click that little info, you'll see some sweet cards all about nutrition. Head over, I really hope this helped you guys. Get some abs, head to the beach, enjoy your summer, peace. Summer flex, baby. Ah. Ah. Kobe.